Hey everybody, Jason here. Um, so, I'm going to start a small series over over about the next week. Um, this is going to be an edited video, but the rest after this are going to be unedited. Um, I'm hardening off my plants, so it's probably going to be a series, you know, part one, part two, part three, yada yada yada. But I'm moving everything out, and you can probably hear the sirens right now. I didn't do anything wrong, so they're not after me. But, uh, yeah, where was I? So, I'm going to do a course over the next few few days, uh, part one, two, three, yada yada, of uh, hardening off my plants. I'm going to do it in increments, um, like I'm starting off today for about an hour. Then tomorrow I'll do probably an hour and a half or two hours, depending on the, the weather. And, you know, I'm slowly going to work it up. So, basically from here out, um, the next couple of videos are probably going to be unedited. So, you know, don't expect the greatest. I usually don't edit my videos much anyway. I, I might cut out, you know, something I say that I don't like or, or whatever. But... And then I add, of course I add my intro. But, yeah, I'm just gonna, t I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna record them, and I'm gonna upload them, and that's gonna be it. So, um, basically I'm just doing this as an, in an informative video, so you can see uh, how, you know, how you should, how, well, how I do it. If, if you do it a different way, that's that's perfectly fine. But this is how I do it. And, you know, I, I have pretty good luck in the garden. So, if you follow m my lead, you should do pretty good. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not the best gardener in the world. I have had my failures. I mean, hey, I lost my ghost pepper that was three months old just a while back. So, you know, I've, I've got my my failures too, I, and I try to let you guys know about them. So, basically, um, I'm going to show you how I do things, or how I harden them off, and if you want to follow, this is going to be out there for you to for you to use. So, anyway, with that, let's get over to the to the plants so you can see what I'm doing, so I can get off the lid up to my worm bin. It rained a couple nights ago. I don't want to have a wet. I am hardening off my plants. Uh, this isn't all of them. This is just the the bigger ones. I got got a few of the smaller ones out here. But what I'm doing is I'm moving everything out and I'm letting them sit out in the shade. Of course, the sun kind of moved on me, but I'm letting them sit out in the shade for about an hour. And I'll do this. Well, pretty much every day this week, I'll move, I'll move the plants out and let them sit out in the shade for about an hour. Um, and then, as the week goes on, you know, I'll, I'll bring it up to two hours, three hours, four hours, and then eventually, if everything goes right, I should actually be able to let them sit out all, you know, for a whole night and leave them out. But this pretty much just gets them acclimated to the weather. You know, right now they're actually getting hit by some wind, and they're not used to that. So, probably would have been a great idea to put a fan in my grow room, but I just didn't have room for it. You know, I have one small fan on one of my grow boxes, but it kind of doesn't even doesn't even make a dent. So, they're getting hit with some wind. And they've been out here for about a half an hour, so another another 30 minutes or so, and I'll start moving them back in. This is just going to give them that, you know, it, it's kind of like uh, kind of like when I was smacking my tomatoes. This is pretty much doing the same thing, only a little little bit more harsh. So this is going to help them out. And like I said, you know, I'll, I'll be doing this over the course of the next week. And then eventually, 
I'll be able to just move them out. I, I checked the uh, monthly forecast. 10 day forecast just doesn't do it for me. But the monthly forecast shows that there are no nights that are going to be under 50 degrees. And I prefer the nights to not be under 55 degrees. But hey, right now I gotta gotta take what I can get. Hey, all right, the sun actually worked out for me. There, it went back behind a cloud, and the wind picked up. <laughs> but you know, you can see like this dude here, he's he's getting pretty good wind, and that's actually my peppercini, I believe. Yeah, my peppercini. And they also say that while you're doing this shouldn't water your plants uh, <laughs> as I move them in I'm gonna water them because a lot of them are looking like they really need water so anyway I just wanted to show you what I was doing and like I said I'll be doing this over the course of a week and slowly bringing up the time so should help them out of course the sun's not working on my side but they should be all right you know, the sun is actually... Wow, what was that? Big boom. The sun actually, uh, you know, being outside, even in the shade, it's brighter than my, my grow. So, uh, you know, you got to be careful when you're doing this. You, you don't want to overdo it. And you know, look at them. They're just, they're getting hit with the wind. And that's my, my Polish linguisa. They, I had a hard time getting them to sprout so they better be okay but anyway that's what I'm doing and hope it helps you